Hello students, uh, in this video I am going to explain to you another uh, part of the chapter 11 that is uh, human eye and the colorful world. So in this video uh, <clears throat> I am going to explain you about the uh, defects of vision and also how they can be corrected. Uh, so sometimes when you go out uh, you might have seen some or you might have seen your friends wearing spectacles or needing some correction because uh, they have problem with their vision because they cannot see uh, sometimes uh, properly because of their eye ciliary muscles they cannot focus properly the eye lens cannot pro pro focus properly so that's why uh, they need an extra uh, help with the help of some external lens so you might have asked sometimes uh, or you might have not asked what kind of problem they have uh, your friend who is holding the spectacle who has a spectacle but it is a good thing to ask to know whether the person uh, or your friend is having problem difficulty what kind of difficulty your friend is having uh, in terms of uh, the eye problem so <clears throat> as i said uh, we are going to study the defects of vision so so there are mainly uh, three types of defect of vision that can be easily corrected uh, the first defect that is known as myopia or it is also known as nearsightedness and the next one is called uh, hypermetropia or farsightedness and also there is another one that is called presbyopia so these are the three types of uh, defects of vision so first uh, let's know uh, learn what is myopia so what is myopia as i promised you one of your friend will be uh, joining us for this video so let's hear from her hold on hold on hold on did you get any of that i didn't get okay let's try again and you need to slow down you need, you need to slow down so let's go again myopia is a defect of vision where a person can see near by object clearly but cannot see the far away object distinctly or clearly now that is too slow now that is too slow so let's take it at a little bit speed it up a little bit so that we can follow you. Alright? So let's go again. Myopia is a defect of vision where a person can see near by object clearly but cannot see the far away object distinctly or clearly. Okay, I hope you got now. So what she means to say is that what is myopia? Myopia is a defect of vision where the person suffering from myopia can see the nearby objects. Okay, nearsightedness. That's why it is called nearsightedness because they can see the nearby object clearly but they cannot see the far away object suppose you are sitting at the back end of a uh, back end or at the back row of your school bench classroom bench you might not be able to see the board clearly if you have a myopia so the myopia those people suffering from myopia they have a problem with the uh, far away vision but they can see nearby objects clearly but cannot see the far away objects then another defect of course i'll explain to you in detail how myopia uh, occurs what are the regions and what uh, how we can correct it but let's go next uh, for to the next uh, defect we'll explain later in detail so we'll learn in detail first let's know the second one that is called hypermetropia or farsightedness or uh, let's hear it from the your friend hypermetropia is a defect of vision where a person can see far away object clearly but cannot see the nearby object clearly okay thank you then so you might have heard this time so hypermetropia is the defect of vision where a person can see far away or distant objects distinctly or clearly okay they can see the far away objects distinctly but they have problem with the nearby objects they cannot see the nearby objects clearly so that is called hypermetropia okay or it is also known as farsightedness okay then 
the last one uh, is called presbyopia presbyopia it comes with age of course because the as uh, with age our ciliary muscles become weak and what happens that our uh, near point or the near point of the eye it goes further away from the eye so that's why uh, we need corrective lens for that of course sometimes a person may suffer both from myopia and hypermetropia in presbyopia so we we'll learn in detail about what is myopia what is hypermetropia with a proper diagram so <clears throat> let's go so let's study in detail about myopia so <clears throat> this the myopic eye so if the object is nearby it is if it is near to the eye it will be seen distinctly it will be focused at the retina so you can see the nearby object distinctly but if the object is situated somewhere far if the object is situated somewhere far you can see that the rays are not focused at the retina it is focused somewhere in front of the retina as a result you'll be able to see but it will not be clear you'll see something blurred so those who are using uh, spectacles you might know how it is to be uh, how the image comes as blurred so <clears throat> This is the myopic eye. Nearby, it will be focused to the retina. As a result, you will see it properly or clearly. But if it is at somewhere at the very uh, far away distance, or if it is at the uh, <coughs> distant object, if it is distant object, you will not be able to see it properly because it will not be <coughs> because it will not be focused at the retina. So, this is the myopic eye. And there are two reasons for which uh, for myopia. Uh, first may be that the <clears throat> the eye lens this eye lens it may get an excessive curvature the curvature of the eye lens may become more that means the eye lens instead of uh, in, in, the eye lens suppose this is my eye lens hmm. so the curvature may change suppose this is the normal eye uh, lens but what may happen the curvature may change it will become thicker if it becomes thicker what will happen the rays it will uh, the focus of the lens will come nearer and as a result you will get this condition the same condition that uh, the same condition for a myopic eye if it is thicker the rays will get refracted and the <clears throat> they will uh, intersect much uh, nearer to the lens and it will not fall into the retina so this is the first reason what excessive curvature of the eye lens because of the excessive curvature of the eye lens that might be one problem then the second one may be the because of some medical condition, the eyeball, this eyeball may get elongated. Elongated means it may become longer. So if the eye get, eyeball gets longer, suppose the eyeball comes long, it becomes longer like this. So what will happen? Again, it will not be focused at the retina. As a result, what may happen? You will not see the object clearly. So <clears throat> since uh, the eyeball is, uh, if the eyeball becomes elongated or if the eyeball becomes longer, what the object will be focused or object will be focused at much shorter distance than the uh, retina so as a result you will not be able to see it uh, clearly or you will not be see, able to see it distinctly so how do we correct see our correction needed is that if we can bring by taking some lens if we can bring by using some lens if we can bring the far away distant uh, distant object to the nearby or if you can make an image if you can make an image of far away object somewhere near to the eye then our eye will be able to see so you know this can be done this can be done by an <coughs> done by a lens called concave lens so you might have studied here i have drawn a simple diagram this is a concave lens in a concave lens what happen an object an object which is placed very far an object which is placed very far can give an image it very near so this is the image okay so a concave lens can bring the far away distant or uh, distant objects and make an image at the very near to the lens so this is how you can correct that means by using for correction for correction you can correct see this is the correction by <clears throat> not uh, you can take you can place a concave lens you can use a concave lens of uh, <clears throat> required power or suitable power to bring back proper vision so by using a concave lens you can correct myopia so this concave lens will give a suppose object is somewhere far suppose the con uh, object is somewhere far it will 
create an image near so that or I can see so it will be corrected and it will fall on the retina so how can you correct you can correct by using myopia myopia you can correct by using a concave lens of suitable wavelength or sorry suitable power so with uh, of suitable power and of suitable uh, focal length because power and focal length are related so, <coughs> So this is, uh, we'll study in detail about hypermetropia. So this is the uh, diagram of hypermetropia guy. So first it is given how hypermetropia, as you, have know, as you know, as I've told you that hypermetropia is what? It is a defect of vision where a person can see far away or distant object properly. So the far away object, the object situated very far, it will be focused properly to the retina. It will be focused to the retina. So what will happen? You'll get the uh, distinct vision or clear vision when the object is at a far away distance but if the object is nearby suppose object is somewhere near to the eye so what will happen the rays will not be focused and you will not be able to see it properly or you will not be able to see it clearly okay so this is the hypermetropic eye now what are the causes what 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 might be the causes because uh, we'll have to know what is the causes so first cause may be that what may happen that the eye lens may become too thin okay the focal length of eye lens is becoming too long or eye lens has become too much thin curvature has become too much thin see uh, this is the suppose this is the actual one this is the actual one this is the actual one but this has become thicker so here here suppose it is going to the correct it is focused to the correct place okay so here it will go longer it will go longer because the curvature is too thin it will go longer as a result what may happen you will not be able to, uh, it will not be focused at the retina but here it will be focused at the retina so <clears throat> because of the curvature becoming too thin it may be a problem or sometimes due to some second cause is that sometimes due to some medical condition due to some condition what may happen the eyeball may become smaller your eyeball itself may become your eyeball may become smaller so if it becomes smaller suppose the eyeball has come here eyeball has become till here so what will happen if the eyeball eyeball has come till here again it will not be focused at the retina as a result you will see some blurred image you will not see distinctly so how will you correct it so for let's go for correction now how will you correct it see we will need a lens we will need a lens which will create an image of the nearby object at far away okay the nearby object it is near to the eye so we'll have to use such a lens we'll have to use such a lens which will produce an image at the far away distance so that our eye can see that image this image will be seen by our eye so so for that uh, i have drawn another picture you can see here one lens that is the convex uh, concave lens a uh, concave convex lens this is a convex lens so in a convex lens if the object is very near you can see here if the this is the object this is the object okay very near to the lens if the object is very much near to the lens what happens we get the image at far away so this is what the convex lens does so this convex lens can be used for hypermetropic eye which can be used what as a corrective lens so that you can create an image of the object at far away distance so that your eye can see it so let's go for the correction so this is the correction when you use a what corrective lens will use a corrective lens or it is a convex lens of suitable power and the nearby object will get a uh, image that will be far away and it will be focused properly to the eye so it can be corrected by using a convex lens of suitable wavelength so this is how hypermetropia is corrected uh, the next defect of vision is presbyopia and actually uh, that presbyopia it comes with age when people get old they get presbyopia mostly and what happens is mostly in presbyopia uh, the near point of the eye recedes away that means the near point goes away from the eye as a result some old people they get difficult to read the nearby or to see the nearby uh, things clearly without corrective glasses or corrective lens so of course uh, in 
<coughs> press biopia uh, many times you will see that uh, both myopia and hypermetropia both both myopia and hypermetropia person may be suffering from both myopia and hypermetropia so in such case uh, as you have already learned in myopia uh, <coughs> uh, concave lens is needed and in hypermetropia a convex lens is needed so for treating both myopia and hypermetropia there should be a lens uh, that has both concave and convex such lens is called bifocal so in order to treat a, a person with press biopia a person having press biopia uh, you will need a bifocal lens so what is a bifocal lens a bifocal lens has uh, both convex and concave okay the upper portion is concave so that it will help in looking the far away uh, upper portion will allow you to look far away and the lower portion of the glass it will help you to see the nearby so the lower portion is the convex and the upper portion is the concave lens so you might have seen some old people so i'll show you this is one uh, bifocal lens so this is one bifocal lens so uh, i don't know if you can see or not but i'll bring it nearby so that you know see you'll see that there is a small okay different lens uh, the up portion is different and below you'll get a small part that is different so uh, i don't know if you can see it properly or not uh, i'm trying to bring it very near to you so that you can see so this is one bifocal lens and this bifocal lens it will allow the upper portion the upper portion will allow to view far away but the lower portion which is a convex okay upper portion is a concave which will help you to view far away and the lower portion is a convex which will help you to see the nearby objects clearly or distinctly so this is how you can treat uh, press biopia so uh, these are the three defects of vision myopia hypermetropia and press biopia so i hope you understood if you have not understood you can ask me anytime so that's all